Welcome. In today's tutorial video we will be showcasing how to blink AC bulb using the ESP32 CAM development board. This is the first video on a series of IoT based home automation and surveillance project design. The following materials are needed for this tutorial, a breadboard, 5V solid state relay, PCB socket, preformed jumper wires, a pair of screwdrivers, ESP32 CAM development board, a pair of LEDs, red and green color types, ESP32 CAM programmer, AC wireless plug, AC light bulb, energy saving type. Following the circuit diagram, we connected the components according to the schematic diagram. Please see the description below for better explanation. We know that we can stream video surveillance using the ESP32 CAM. The focus is to also control AC and DC actuators to be able to complete the task in the home automation. Once we can be able to control or blink the AC light bulb on and off, we can as well remotely control it using IoT. This circuit diagram shows the use of two LEDs, one for blinking the LED. The red LED was used to know when the ESP32 CAM was powered on whereas the green LED was used to show the blinking state. The green LED was connected to PO pin 13. A current limiting resistor was connected in series to the green LED. This was assembled on a breadboard since it was easier to remove after the demonstration was completed. Alternatively, the onboard LED on the ESP32 CAM can also be used. This is usually connected to PO pin 4. It would be wise to note this and add it in the Arduino sketch code. Once this was done, the blink sketch is uploaded to the ESP32 CAM dev board and then powered through its programmer power rails. As shown here, we have achieved the LED blinking. Now, let us blink an AC light bulb using the same Arduino sketch but modifying some of its circuitry and doing a few component replacements. When dealing with alternating current, AC, voltages, care must be taken to avoid electrocution. The schematic diagram replaced the green LED with a 5V solid state relay. This was used then to control the live wire of the AC voltage. To get this all assembled, we quickly removed the ESP32 CAM dev board from the breadboard and carefully placed it onto its programmer to be programmed with the new sketch code. Fire up your Arduino IDE and copy the Arduino sketch from the link in the description below. Save this sketch and go to the settings tab and select the type of ESP32 CAM you are using. For us here, we use the AI Thinker ESP32 CAM. This was selected accordingly and the port to which was connected on the PC was also selected. Using this type of programmer, it is very possible for, for you not to have a unique name of the port at which the programmer is connected. However, if the port at which the programmer was connected to doesn't show, try installing the CH340 driver to your PC. For Windows users, click on the upload button after this and wait until the sketch finishes uploading the code into the ESP32 CAM development board. This new sketch that was uploaded would serve for external green LED blinking. We added another red colored LED here to show that we could also blink two LEDs at the same time using different PO pads. With the help of our preformed jumper wires, we connected all these together and powered it from the power rails of the ESP32 CAM programmer. Finally, 
The 5V solid state relay is connected according to the schematic diagram shown in the description link. The PCB socket was connected to the live, L, wire through this PCB socket. The AC light bulb is hence connected to the PCB socket and has a common neutral wire. Both the live and neutral wires are insulated respectively to avoid mishaps of electric shock. The AC input plug was then connected to source AC voltage to the setup. The setup was tested and as shown here. The AC bulb can be blinked as often as the green LED blinked. Please stay tuned for the next video on how to control AC light bulb using the ESP32 Cam and Android app from anywhere in the world. Thank you and see you again on the next tutorial.